thinking maybe I should let you know I'm not the same, but I never did forget your name. Hello. You want me to blow your mind right now? That song came out 17 years ago. What in the heck? Where did the time go? I literally am not who I was. I got gray hair now. I'm really thankful uh, that I've gotten to play music for this long. This is not my first tour with Mac Powell. I used to tour with him when he was in Third Day. Any Third Day fans out there? Me too, me too. I just feel so, I feel so much gratitude that I've gotten to do music for so long. Um, but this is the one that started it for me, y'all. It was, it was just a song that I wrote before I had a publishing deal or a, a record deal. I needed to get something off my chest, and so I wrote this song. It doesn't have a chorus. It kind of breaks the songwriting rules, you know? But for whatever reason, they put this sucker on the radio, and uh, the person that I wrote it about didn't know there was a song about them on the radio. <laughs> so I was a little nervous about it. But I've gotten more emails. More people tell me that they love this song than uh, any other song I've ever written. And so uh, it's all downhill from here tonight. <laughs> this is the best I'll ever write. And I wrote it in my early 20s. So any of you out there who are aspiring artists or whatever your field is, you're young, just know you're gonna peak early. <laughs> Now what you're doing right now is some of the best work you'll ever do. And don't take it for granted, you know? I certainly am not. Um, I've got a new story to tell, but this song still very much speaks to who I am. The thing I find most amazing, amazing grace, is the chance to give it out. Maybe that's what love is all about. I wish you could see me now I wish I could show you how I'm not who I was Thanks, I'd like to give, uh, would you guys give Tim Olson back here on the soundboard a big hand? Tim was on that that first third day tour that I did back in 2008 uh, was the Revelation tour, and uh, Tim was on the crew, and it is so cool to be out on the road with him. Um, but one of the, the things, I, I have a cold right now. It's like the worst cold I've had in years, and uh, I don't know what it is. I'll be backstage, and I sound awful, and I'll come out here, and I sound half decent. It's like a Christmas miracle. Come early. Um, a Thanksgiving miracle. Thank you, sir. Thank you for correcting me. I do, however, have my Christmas Starbucks cups that they've already put out. But Tim was telling me, he was like, you know what, I know you got a cold, but I like your voice right now. It sounds very honest. Which I don't know what it sounds like normally, but, but I, I kind of see where he's coming from, you know? Like, we just, we, we put ourselves out here, you know? We're, yes, we're professionals. We're also human beings, you know? And sometimes we get colds and you have to sing. It is, it is not the most fun thing, but I do love, I get up here on the stage and I see y'all and I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. So I'm gonna sing another one. Just help me sing it, will you? Let's drop it a half step, how about that? Let's set, up, sir, set ourselves up for success. I felt it first when I was younger. A strange connection to the light. I tried to satisfy the hunger. I never got it right. I never got it right. I 
towards an altar Looked out as far as I could see And every day I'm getting older I'm running out of dreams I'm running out of dreams Yeah But you were love You were love The only thing that matters is You were love You were love That's all I have to give You were love by Big Green Egg, but that's what I do. Over here, yes ma'am, you know what I'm talking about. And the rest of y'all are still doing in the oven. What is going on? Because you, what's that? You're old? You're not old, no ma'am. Old is is old buzz. Just get you, someone needs to get you a Big Green Egg for Christmas this year. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm fine with my oven. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited to go home. I'm already like, I've got my game plan in place um, uh, on what I'm gonna do. And um, I don't know if y'all are like me, but we, we have a strict rule about no Christmas until the day after Thanksgiving yeah. in my house. Yeah. Some of you are like feeling real guilty right now. <laughs> Set up your lights the day after Halloween. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I belong. That's not right, random. <laughs> I don't want to hear about Santa Claus coming. No silver bells or a dozen drummers drumming. I don't want to see. An inflatable nothing to the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Don't plug in those electric candles or dangle those stockings from the living room mantle. Those tangled up lights are more than I can handle to the day after Thanksgiving. And oh, let it snow. Go and tell everyone. Christmas is here Every day between now and New Year I want the cookies and the mistletoe kissing Angel on top of a tall tree glisten Wrap it all up in a pretty red ribbon The day after Thanksgiving <laughs> You can put anchors on your car for all I care 
As long as it's the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Mind if I tell you a secret, a few simple truths about me, might be hard to believe, guess I'm just trying to complete. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going, it's hard to admit where I've been. When I come to the end of myself, this is where I begin, again. I am here.
I told you, see me do it. When the sky falls, who am I gonna call? Come rescue me, buddy. Bullets <laughs> get attacked, devil on my back, better lace them up and go put on my game face. I don't got this, I know you got this, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe it before I see it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're gonna see me do it. He saw me through it, all right.